Hello, this is Jeff Ryan from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston, and today we're going to go over some uh, common sources of error in a total station setup. And what we're going to do is I've got a um, job here uh, called 921, and uh, we have that set up. So what I did is I import an ASCII file. So if I click on here, hit import data, hit ASCII. What I did is I imported the from the SD card. And I've got a file here, it's called Cravens, Texas South Central, US feet, point number Northern Eastern Height. So it's a good idea if you create an ASCII file, just name it something, because there's no discrepancy, you know exactly what you're importing in. So um, once again, we just hit OK to import into that job. If I hit Function Settings, it's important to check and write down here the order of the, the data we're importing in. So it's point number Northern Eastern Height. If it was east and northern, I just have to change the east into number two and the northern to number three and flip flop that. But it's important to, to make sure it's in the right order. And uh, I'll just say go. And that data is imported. Um, once again, I've hit the star button. I've got a hotkey here set up for regional settings. And before I did that, I'd want to make sure that my distance unit is in US survey feet. Okay. Um, we also had a DXF file, so I click on here. Go to Job Properties and go to Reference Data. Um, you can add, and I've, you'd attach the uh, the DXF file. And you also want to make sure you're in the right uh, units there as well. So, uh, to it, I'll just remove that. Hit Yes, just show you how to reattach it. So I came in here. You pick. Once again, the ask in the DXF would be under the data subdirectory on the SD card. I check that box, I attach that. See, it says units here, that's correct. DXF is unitless, so this unit would toggle it. So I need to be careful which system you put it in. If it's millimeters, meters, international feet, or US feet. And once again, that's correct. We'll hit store. And then typically, after I attach a DXF and import ASCII file data, what we can do is come back here and just make sure everything looks good before we start our work. View and edit. And I just edit that first point and just make sure that those coordinates line up with the control sheet. Everything's been imported correctly. 3D viewer would then show all the information. And then you can see the, the lines were on DXF and they line up with the control points. So if I screwed up the uh, DXF units, then that would be way off. And just make sure everything looks good before we start working. Okay. So I made a few mistakes here. We're gonna go to setup. And what we're going to do now is do a known back site, and we'll pick our our job. So this is 921. Okay, and we'll hit OK. And our first point we're set up on is CP3. New instruments now have an automatic height measure. I'll hit F4, measure the height. If you're using the older instrument, just double check it with an imperial tape and use the Leica height measuring device and metric, and just can make sure you eliminate that error source and. That confirms the point we're set up on. And what we do now is we're going to back site CP5. Okay, I'll hit the distance button. We'll check our back site. Lock the target. And it's locked to the back site. And we're off quite a bit, 1600 and 0.2 of a foot. So let's take a look at some of the error sources. I'll hit the camera. This is an MS60 total station. Uh, the TS16 had imaging, then we could zoom in. I'm going to take a look, and the first thing we do is check the uh, prism. So we'll zoom in. Zoom in. And actually the prism you can see here is actually a circular prism. Um, so if I hit that mega zoom, and it's actually a circular prism. The icon up here says it's actually a 360 prism. So that's one error source here. You also make sure you have the right prism in your back site. So we escape out of here. I can go back. I can click under settings. TS instrument and the measure says I'm going to survey my topo points and set up the, be the back site. And what I want to do is make sure that that's correct. So I'll come down here, pick the round prism, and we've got a video on all the different prisms and the offsets. We'll hit OK and we'll go back in and take a look. Right, Target lock lost. Hit OK and then once again we'll oops, pick the right job. It's going to be CP3. That looks good. And then we'll hit distance and check. Lock to target. 
it was still off. That's a pretty significant error, still 400s by 700s. So what we can do is, hmm, what's the other error source? Well, I'll skate back out here. Um, Target lock lost. What I'll do is I'll come in here, I'll check the uh, coordinate system. system and right now I got Texas Central what I want to do is actually we're doing state plane grid so I'll do Texas South Central make sure I got the right coordinate system and then what I'll do is I'll come over here because we're working on the grid hit TS scale and what I want to do is check this box here and use current setup and that way it looks at those control points but I've got to be on the right coordinate system and then we'll hit setup known back site once again, pick the right points. That height should be good. And now down here, you see the current scale. This is the scale factor here, and that looks about right. If I had the wrong coordinate system, if I had Texas Central, it'd be like 1.01. .01. So that looks good. We'll hit OK, because we're working on state plane grid. And then we'll hit distance and check that shot. Lock the target. And we're still off a little bit there. Um, one thing that I, I didn't check that should get us down a lot tighter is the PPMs. So the PPMs were off. I hit the star button. Um, see, it says atmospheric conditions. And I got it set, I got a typo here. I got it set to 70 degrees Celsius, and it should be 70 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And my PPMs say 56.3. We should be around between zero and 25 PPMs. And the PPM, you know, 20 PPM is roughly 20 millimeters per thousand meters, or roughly 700 seven hundreds of a foot every uh, 3,000 feet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my, I can hit the star button again and change my regional settings. And I'll hit the other key, and I'll change this to Fahrenheit and change that to inches. Okay, so we'll hit OK. And once again, I've hit star again and change my atmospheric conditions. So if I'm working in plants, 158 degrees, let me change that to 75 degrees. And the pressure looks pretty good at sea level. And let's just say it's 88 degrees. And see my PPM is like 12.1. So we hit OK. So let's try that now. We'll hit CP3. Scale factor looks good. We're working on state plane grid. We hit OK. And now once again, we have the right prism offset. We're going to check into that control point, have the right height for the back sight. Once again, the camera, we can go in there and make sure the, the prism is the correct one. We just did that earlier, so we could zoom in, make sure that's good. Let's go back and check the back sight and check in now. So hit distance. Boom. Oh, wow. And we got our difference in horizontal is 0 0.000, and difference in height is 800s. These points were set with RTK, so the heights, that is a reasonable height. And then what I'll do is hit F1 set, and now... We set up and set, we're just out a little bit. I will accept that because we're set up on RTK control points. It says, do you want to take a panoramic? I'll say no. And now we're, we're, lock, lock. we're all set, ready to go. So once again, um, I set some certain hotkeys up uh, to, to find these areas underneath go to settings, TS instrument. And the first one is measure target. So this is where to find if we're going to survey our four sites with the 360, the setup would be your back sight, so you can set the right prism there. Uh, once again, we hit settings, TS instrument, atmospheric conditions, that's where you set in. And once again, the units, you had it to centigrade, and that was incorrect. We just come down here, skate back out to uh, system and regional. And that's where you can set your US feet, and under other would be your temperature, okay? So just a quick video on some error sources that can sneak up, you know, small things, but the small things propagated over, over time and long, longer distances can add up. So I hope you found that beneficial.